Hello, I'm IBX Toycat, and welcome back to another feature preview. If you're wondering what feature previews are, they're a series I run on my channel where I show you features that are going to be included in the next big update for Minecraft Xbox and Minecraft PlayStation. I can do this by showing you PC gameplay because we don't know whether the next big update is going to be called Title Update 23, 24, or whatever, but we do know it's going to include features from at least 1.7 on the PC. Meaning that if I show you PC gameplay, I can show you, for instance, in this video, the brand new fishing that actually comes in with this next update, which I think is really cool. So in this video I'll be explaining exactly how the new fishing system works because it means you can get stuff like name tags as well as rarer fish and I think it's really cool in general and that's of course why I'm making a video. So please do like the video if you like it, it would help out a lot and lets me know you liked it and uh, yeah it helps that channel look like I said but let's get straight into the new fishing uh, that comes in with this update then shall we. So uh, basically right now when you go fishing on Minecraft, Xbox or PlayStation I'm sure you all know what happens. You put your fish in, uh, you put your fishing rod in the water and then after some point you eventually get you know your raw fish like this and it's pretty simple but it's very boring like it's it's usually not worth your time unless you're really starving to actually put your fishing rod in the water and yeah just not really worth your time it's not something you do uh, very often but uh, this update has actually changed the way the fishing mechanics work to make it a bit more exciting and make it a bit you know more of a random thing each time because as well as just being able to get the raw fish we know and love there's also brand new fishing uh, fish types that are introduced to this which range from just being better than this like more uh, fulfilling or being uh, poached ingredients which I think is really cool and then on top of that there's also the chance to get different drops that aren't you know aren't fishes at all, which I think is really cool. So, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll explain this uh, whole thing now then, shall we? So, basically, uh, in the purpose of the game, it splits drops into three categories. There's fish. Uh, this is most of what you get when you go fishing at 85% full drops. So, every time you put your uh, fishing line in the water, you've got an 85% chance of getting one of these types of fish. Out of these types of fish, this uh, type, you know, the fish we know and love, is the most common, but then you've also got a chance of getting the clownfish, of getting salmon, of getting the blowfish, which I'll explain all things in a second, but for now, just bear in mind, 85% of uh, your drops will be fish. Uh, then we have the junk category. So this is uh, a 10% chance. So 1 in 10, uh, you know, fishing lines you put out will eventually learn one of these items. And they're all very, you know, average items that aren't really worth having. So like string, for instance, probably not worth spending 40 seconds fishing out for. A uh, bottle of water, a stick, uh, rotten flesh. There's a few things here that are kind of fun the first time, like getting uh, another fishing rod. That can be quite useful, even though it's the most rare thing here. Because, you know, it means you can then have another fishing rod to keep fishing and repair your current fishing rod which is quite cool uh you can get 10 ink sacks which i think is really cool because it saves you all the time of going and uh, you know going and water uh, killing lots of squid so that's a useful one there's leather which could theoretically eventually be made with armor but yeah mostly this is just stuff that you pick up and you're like oh I now own that thing. And then finally, uh, the last 5%, you might have noticed, is the treasure category. So this is all the stuff we want to be getting out of our stuff. And this includes name tags. This includes enchanted bows, enchanted fishing rods, and even enchanted books and saddles. And for some reason, this also includes lily pads. But for now, just bear in mind, this is where all the cool stuff is. And there's a 5% chance getting one of these things or a just under 1% chance getting any of these at any one time. So if you ever want to get you know, a name tag around just under one in every hundred, uh, you know, lines you put out will eventually give you one. So if you really, really need lots of name tags, have a few in a world, just sit there together, go fishing nonstop, and eventually you'll get a bunch of stuff. And that's why I think this update is really cool for fishing, because it means instead of just going out and being like, oh, I'm, I'm going to get some fish, yay, it's a it's a slightly worse than, you know, beef food. Uh, there's a chance of getting really good fish that's, you know, going to be quite nourishing. There's all the fish you're going to get anyway, which, you know, a nice bonus means you can tame some cats. But there's also all the other various things which come along with it, and hopefully my line will actually achieve something in the next few seconds. So I can hopefully, like, get a rare chance at a name tag or something like that. But yeah, so um, I'm going to quickly explain the name, uh, the actual, like, the Enchanted Books uh, system. I'm going to explain the, like, rarity thing. And I also want to explain the new fish types. Because, of course, with the new fishing, there is the new fish. And I'm not even sure this is going to catch anything at all. What whatever. Don't don't need your fish anyway, game. Don't need your fish anyway. So, oh, wait. There we go. Okay, it's just, <laughs> it's just a fish. So as you can see, fish still are the most common uh, type of drop that you can get when you go fishing. But there is still the other types of fish and the other types of things. So first of all... Uh, there's three types of uh, three brand new types of fish that come on with this. What do these other types of fish do, and what what is this all about? You might be wondering. So first of all, let's talk about the uh, salmon uh, fish because it's the easiest one to explain. Salmon is slightly less common than the regular fish, and it basically will fill you up more instead uh, once you cook it. Instead of giving you uh, you know two and a half um, hunger bars, it gives you three hunger bars, and it gives you more saturation, almost as much as the golden carrot, I believe, which is pretty cool. Uh, then we have the clownfish, which is just a super rare chance, like. 
It's a, a sl- oh, it's roughly the same chance of getting a clownfish as it is to get like a name tag or something. So a rare chance to uh, drop fish, but it's mainly just a rare fish. Like you won't find them very often. It's kind of cool, but they don't do too much. And then finally, we have the uh, puffer fish here. And this is a, a pretty useful one that you're going to want to find because if you use this in a brewing stand, you can actually make the brand new water breathing potion. So yeah, really cool new potion that you can make if you get this thing. And that's why this is worth having. So a uh, better fish rarer fish, average fish, and then potion fish. That's basically what this builds down to. Uh, over here, we've got varying degrees of uh, success finding these things, and this is mainly just put in the game to fill up your inventory, really. The boots are cool, like I mentioned, the ink sacks are cool, and the fish uh, r- fishing rod is cool, but that's kind of how that fits. It's kind of, you know, dull, like I mentioned. Uh, what the, the exciting thing is over here, though, is the enchanted book and the bow and the fishing rod. So, most of the time, when you pick up a fishing rod or a bow, it's going to have an enchantment on it, and this is really cool, because if you want to specifically get enchantments, there is, uh, you know, some degree of saying, well, you could go fishing, because if you have enough you go going fishing, like I mentioned, you've got just under 1% chance of finding one of these, uh, one of this uh, things, or one of these things, for instance, so you're going to get a lot of these a lot of bows and a lot of fishing rods which i think is really cool these uh will always uh these two things here will always be slightly damaged but i think the enchantment kind of makes up for that and uh, yeah that's kind of how this works so the new fishing system is really cool I really, really like it, and I'm really looking forward to it, because it makes fishing exciting. It means instead of just knowing you'll get fish, which evidently, actually, in my video so far, it looks like I've only been getting fishing, instead of just knowing you'll get the raw fish that you know and is kind of bland, you can get the chance of getting other fishes which can do other things, the chance of getting treasure, the chance of getting, you know, just strange things that you'll find underneath the uh, ocean surface, and I think that's really cool. So, uh, we're going to let this, uh, like, fish, or whatever it is, actually catch up, just in case it is something rare and it proves my magical point. By the way, that new, uh, whole new fishing animation is coming with the update too. And uh, yeah, as you can see, just, just another raw fish. So lots of new uh, cool new things coming in with the next update for Minecraft Xbox and Minecraft PlayStation. I'm really excited about it, and I think I'll spend a lot of time in my fishing cabin, in my Let's Play world, just fishing away because of the exciting like possibilities. Like This means if you can't get name tags in your current world, you can now, and I, I really, really like that. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. I hope you are excited for the new fish as I am. Uh, like I, I'm really excited, but maybe it's just me. Let me know in the comments down below what you're excited about, if you are excited. And uh, yeah, next week I will be covering the Mesa biome, so look forward to that. Um, and subscribe if you're new around here, because I do a bunch of feature previews every week, as well as a bunch of other update videos. And if you play Minecraft console, I'm sure you like them. So like if you like it, share if you really liked it. And I'll see you all in the next video. Or, or will I? I? I will, I will, hopefully. <laughs> Thank you for watching, and goodbye.